Hey YouTube, I'm here this time with my Bath and Body Works MDs for the month of January 2022. I don't have any chit chat, so let's jump right in and get started because I've got a lot going on for this month. So I will start um, with my shower gels. The first shower gel that I used up in January was kind of a holdover from December. This is the Joy the Joy Sugared Snickerdoodle and it came out um, this past holiday season. The keynotes are Snickerdoodle Spice, Creamy Vanilla, and Sugared Musk. It smells really just like um, pumpkin pecan waffles. I feel like I would have to smell them side by side to really distinguish a difference between them. Because I had pumpkin pecan waffles back in the fall and I used this, I did get a little bit bored of it by the end, but it's still a nice fragrance. So I think that in the fall this year, if pumpkin pecan waffles comes out, I will again purchase it in a shower gel, but then probably skip on the sugared snickerdoodle. So it was nice, but it did feel a little bit redundant um, in my usage over the course of the winter time. The next one that I used up is one that I really wish I would have bought more of because I did not find more at the SAS and this is Blueberry Sugar Pancakes. I purchased this online um, and I kind of took a chance on that. I, fig I figured it would kind of smell like um, blueberry maple pancakes, but it kind of doesn't. To me, it's a different fragrance. The key notes are sugar blueberries, fresh pancakes, and caramel cream drizzle. I don't get a bakery from this to me. It smells like a blueberry caramel and it's actually really lovely. So again, I do wish I would have purchased more. I looked for this at SAS and didn't find any, but it was such a great fragrance. I really hope that it comes back because I would definitely buy it again. The next item that I used up was another shower gel I used up for in the month of January and I almost have two more used up. As you guys know, I'm a shower gel fiend, but the next one that I used up in January is Love and Sunshine. I purchased this from the Summer SAS this past year. The keynotes are Sun Kissed Daisies, Sweet, uh, Sweet Lemon, Mara Strawberry, Golden Honeysuckle, and Sunshine Musk. Mm, I love Love and Sunshine. It's not a fragrance I want all the time, but from time to time, it's a really nice scent. So I definitely get a kind of musky lemon and a little bit of strawberry too. It's such a great fragrance. I will say it's kind of heavy. So if you don't like a heavy floral, then this probably isn't for you, but I would really love to see this come back again at Summer SAS because I would purchase a few more of them. It was also a great shower gel to kind of lift my spirits. So as you guys know, I'm really not a winter person and I'm not quite ready for like tropics either. So that was a really good one to have in January. The next one that I used up is one of my beloved iced pear margaritas. I love this scent. I'm glad that it made a little bit of a comeback for a couple of SASs because this is a great fragrance. I think I have maybe about three more of these in my collection. The keynotes are Fiesta Pear, Baja Lemon, Mango Flower, Mayan Sugar Cane, and Mexican Sandalwood. So despite the name, this really doesn't smell like something I would drink. Like it, it, the scent is not appetizing to me but it smells like a perfumey, kind of limey pear, and I really do like it. So it, just like Love and Sunshine, it was excellent to have in January because I just, I'm at a point where I just am ready for spring. I just wanna move on to things that are fresh and fun and bright, and this definitely hit the spot with that. Speaking of which, the fine fragrance mist that I used up for the month of January was Ice Pear Margarita. Again, I have one more of these. I would repurchase them, so not my favorite scent in the whole world, but I do really enjoy it. Next, I'm going to get into the lotion that I used up during the month of January. So I did not have a lotion in Ice Pear Margarita. I used up my last one last year, but I did decide to use up my lotion in Endless Weekend because... Um, it was just kind of there in my collection and I really didn't want to go purchase another lotion just to have for January. So um, Endless Weekend was a great part of my collection because I felt like it was benign enough that I could put it with pretty much anything. So it's a great scent. It's definitely not a wintry scent, but because I don't like winter scents in January anyway, it just made sense for me. So the key notes are... Uh, fresh Summer Mandarin, Sun Kiss Magnolia, and Raspberry Lychee Sorbet. Finished with a breeze of blue coconut water and vanilla sandalwood. So yeah, it's just kind of like a lot going on, but yeah, it just smells like a kind of nice, a little bit light 
summery, fruity floral. I, I don't know. There's just a lot going on. But, you know, a lot of us know Endless Weekend. It's not something just like Ice Pear Margarita that I want all the time. But from time to time, it's really nice. So I do, my, I do see myself eventually just purchasing a shower gel or two in this. But it was nice to have as a lotion just to kind of use up in conjunction with other things to lift my spirits for the month of January. I also used up a couple of hand creams. So I used up one that was gifted to me, actually two that were gifted to me, by a coworker. This is Winterberry Wonder. I don't have any, uh, yeah, so no key notes, but Winterberry Wonder just smells like a kind of generic wintry berry. It's pretty nice. So I used this up as a body lotion when I was traveling. So as you guys know, I'm not really a hand cream person because I don't really like the way that it's packaged, but I do like to travel with these as lotion because I find that they're just a lot more convenient than like a full bottle of lotion. So it was nice. I do like the formula. I just wish that Bath and Body Works would change the packaging and the hand creams. The next one that I used up was also a gift from a coworker. This is Snowflakes and Cashmere. So again, no keynotes, but it just smelled like a kind of nice, uh, like, I don't know if I would say linen per se, but like a fabric kind of scent, if that makes sense, a textile kind of scent. I don't know. Anyway, I'll stop talking about that. So Snowflakes and Cashmere, another really nice fragrance for the winter. Used it up as a lotion while I was traveling over winter break. The last hand cream that I used up was one that I used up just recently. This was part of my winter use it up challenge. This is the Happy Berry, Happy Easter. Hello, Happy Berry. Happy Easter Sweet Bunny Berry. I purchased a couple of these, I think at Summer SAS last year. So I had a mini body cream in this and really enjoyed it almost a year ago when it first came out. And then I bought a couple more of these at SAS and I wanted to use it up. So it's a pretty nice, sweet, kind of generic berry candy scent, but I like it. So I don't think I would love this enough to really have a full size. And in fact, I don't even know that Bath and Body Works came out with the full size in this. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm not sure that they did. But anyway, so I used this up and enjoyed it. Again, I'm good with the fact that it's gone, but I did enjoy it while it lasted. All right, so now let's get into my uh, hand soaps. I used up an In The Stars. I really love In The Stars for around the new year. I think it's a really nice kind of bright um, effervescent type scent for the new year. And the key notes are bergamot champagne, night blooming water lily, and pink salted amber. I feel like those notes have changed since In The Stars had come out a couple years ago, but I don't feel like the scent itself has changed. To me, it smells like kind of a perfumey, kind of mature citrus. Like I get kind of maybe like a, not quite an orange, but some kind of zesty citrus in this. So I really like it. Again, I do prefer it around the new year. I feel like it's just seasonally appropriate in my mind for that. I could use it year round, but that's really when I like to use it. So I would repurchase it, but it'll be a while before I repurchase this. The next one that I used up was a hand soap and peppermint sugar cookie. The key notes are crushed peppermint, creamy butter, and soft sugar cookies. I believe that this is the first year that it has come out in a hand soap. I feel like I could be wrong, but I think that I'm right. But anyway, peppermint sugar cookie. I will say I didn't dislike it, but I feel like I prefer the uh, home fragrance. The soap to me smelled like almost like it had a bit of a snickerdoodle note, like there was something a little bit, and by that I mean like marginally kind of spicy to it. So. It wasn't prominent, but I feel like I did get a little bit of a difference between the home fragrance and this. So I would repurchase it, but I wouldn't hoard it. So I'm glad that I have it. Again, I would buy it next year too, but I'm good with the fact that I just had one. The next hand soap that I used up was my second white coconut caramel from this year. I had one of these last year and really loved it. I had my fingers crossed hard that it would come back out in the fall and it did. I will cross them hard again for this year because I would love to repurchase this again. So the key notes are coconut flakes, toasted hazelnut, and caramel swirl. I really love white coconut caramel. I think the Facid collection is like fine and nice and it looks nice, but I will say the packaging from 2020 was beautiful. It had this kind of like chalkboard cartoony looking packaging and it was nice, but this is a great fragrance. To me, it smells 
um, not quite the same, but reminiscent of exotic coconut. To me, it's a little sweeter because of the caramel, but I feel like it's the same kind of like dry, raw coconut that's not tropical. So I don't know that I would necessarily call this a fall scent, but it was really lovely. And again, I would definitely repurchase this. The last soap that I used up in the month of January is one I actually just used up at the tail end of the month. This was Coconut Mint Drop. I know that this has come out before, but this is the first year that I've had a Coconut Mint Drop. The keynotes are white coconut, iced peppermint, and winter musk. I don't associate coconut with winter. I know that some people do, but I do not. But I think that because there's the mint in here, it really makes sense as a winter fragrance. I don't feel like I need to hoard this like a lot of these other products from January, I'm good with the fact that I only had one because in my mind, I'm moving on to spring. Like I am donezo with winter, um, at least winter fragrances. I mean, winter temperatures too, but this is Colorado. So winter's gonna stick around for a while. Um, but yeah, I'm good with winter fragrances now. You know, I am about to finish up my very last fall hand soap and then I'm spring all the way, baby. So. Again, Coconut Mint Drop, I kind of like went on a tangent there, but Coconut Mint Drop was a great one for winter. Again, coconut and mint really work nicely together and I would repurchase this next year, definitely. The next item I used up is a shower item. This is a conditioner. I picked this up, I think, over the summer or fall. I don't know, it's kind of been a while and I just got around to using it. This lasted me probably about two months in my shower and I wash my hair about every other day just for some context. So it's in gingham. The keynotes are blue freesia, white peach, fresh clementine, violet, and queen musk. It just smells like gingham. So it was nice. I really like Bath and Body Works hair care, but keep in mind I do have normal hair that's like, you know, mostly low maintenance. So I really don't need specialized products or whatever. So I mean, did Bath and Body Works hair care change my life? No, but I still enjoy having it. What I wish Bath and Body Works would do is come out in um, at the beach in the full sizes. I know they have the minis, but the minis are like eight fifty for what two and a half, three ounces. Which, in my heart, I I just couldn't do that. But yeah, I'd love to see at the beach in a full size. I would also love for Bath and Body Works to do more of their signature collection in hair care, like what they used to um, back in you know like two thousand seven, two thousand eight ish. You could very readily get Bath & Body Works hair care in like warm vanilla sugar and coconut lime verbena and sweet pea. Like I just remember uh, like having those in high school and in college and thinking I was hot with my Bath & Body Works hair care. But yeah, I wish Bath & Body Works would go back to that because that was fantastic. I loved it. But nevertheless, I am happy to see um, hair care at Bath & Body Works. Again, I can't speak for people who have maybe like higher maintenance hair um, but for me, for someone who has normal hair, it was pretty nice. Okay, and I just dropped my pocket back. So the pocket back that I used up was one in pineapple mango. So I purchased two of these, I don't know, a couple months ago. It's been a little bit since I uh, purchased a pocket back because I don't need more. Um, but yeah, pineapple mango. I was pretty excited to see that these came out or pocket backs came out in this scent. Um, I thought it was okay. So I have one more. I will use it and appreciate it, whatever. But I feel like pineapple pineapple mango was a little bit like eh in a pocket back. So it just smelled a little bit too strong for me. And that is saying something because I really don't mind a strong fragrance. But I wasn't horrified by it. So I will use up my second one. But I don't know that I will necessarily repurchase these in pineapple mango anymore. I much prefer the hand soap and also the home fragrance. So I will continue to repurchase pineapple mango for sure, but the pocket bag uh, didn't really sit well with me. Okay, and the very last time I used up was a scrub. This is one of my sand and sea salt scrubs. I picked up a whole bunch of these at the very beginning of summer SAS back in 2021. The keynotes are Bahama, or, uh, so this is Bahamas passion fruit and banana flower. The keynotes are passion fruit, pineapple leaves, and banana flowers. So I've said before with these sand and sea salt scrubs, they're really nice, they are coarse, you definitely will wind up with sand in your shower or whatever, so just be aware of that. But I love a coarse scrub and these were really nice. I'm currently using up a sugar scrub from Tree Hut and I'm really enjoying that, but it is nice to have these different textures. So even though the sand is pretty fine, I think that because the scrub has, 
or it's kind of highly concentrated like it's just you know it's not watery it's nice and coarse whatever um yeah so it's nice and coarse but like i've said with these sand and sea salt scrubs they just don't really smell like the fragrance at least not in my opinion so if you buy these just know that you're going to get a good coarse scrub but it really isn't going to smell very much so like the fragrance itself so just be aware of that so that is it for my Bath and Body Works empties for January 2021. Hope you enjoyed. As always, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Schoolhouse of Iron. I'll put it down below and I'll see you next time. Bye.